we've got a mixture of a bit of everything here on our first couple of days in Shanghai. We've got a little bit of the old, a little bit of the new, a little bit of shopping, a little bit of history. All together, I've got to say, I absolutely love Shanghai as a city. The big red colours, the dark browns, the people are friendly as anything. And to tell you what, I'm having a great time. Okay, so by now we've seen a lot of Shanghai by land and across, you know, walking around the city. But it's time to see it the way Shanghai is meant to be enjoyed and that's at night. So what we're doing is we're taking a cruise on the Huangpu River. Come join us and let's see the sights of Shanghai by night. Come on everyone, let's go. The 113 kilometre long Huangpu River winds through the downtown area of the city. The river ranges from 300 to 770 metres wide with an average width of 360. It is ice free all year round and is the main waterway in the Shanghai area. Central Shanghai is divided into two areas, Pudong on the east of the Huangpu River and Puzi west of the Huangpu River. On the east side in Pudong is the special economic zone with banks, skyscrapers and new cool areas for young people to hang out. The Bun, the famous walkway, lies on the historic Puzi side of the Huangpu River and looks across to the new skyline in the Pudong business district. Night time Shanghai is a much different experience than during the day. You know, you can't help but feeling that you're in one of the big cities like New York, London, and Paris. It's uh, one of the great spots in the world.
When in Shanghai, check out the new and the old, the modern style buildings, the skyscrapers, and then those old traditional style Cathay buildings. You can't find a decent meal in Shanghai, then you're pretty hard to please. So make your way to a restaurant, or better yet, go and check out the street stalls and get some finger food. Shop till you drop, anywhere from the Yuyuan Bazaar to one of the many shops around, where you can buy necklaces, pearls, and live turtles, anything that tickles your fancy. Get out at night and see Shanghai by night when it's at its best. And get yourself a ticket on the Huangpu River for a river cruise. But don't go with the tourists, go and get on with the locals. Okay, so that ends the Shanghai part of our trip. Next stop, we're off to the train station and we're catching a Chinese train right through to Xi'an. What kind of quality trains do we get? We're about to find out. So let's head out of Shanghai and it's off to see the Terracotta Warriors. Come on, Chinese train time. Join me next week when we see the Terracotta Warriors of Xi'an. Don't miss it. In the meantime, remember, the travel broadens the mind. Get up and get out there, everyone. Bye for now.